Good morning, Internet. I made a smaller induction coil, but it has five windings. Four of them are connected in a bifiler way. In other words, one goes all the way around and then connects to the second one that goes all the way around, then connects to the third one that goes all the way around, and then when it comes out, it comes out to the collector on the transistor. And one goes in the opposite side. It actually goes around exactly the same as the other one, but instead of using the one that goes in, I used the other end to go the opposite side and where it comes out, it connects to my gate or base on the transistor uh, with a resistor and a small capacitor. And that gives me the blue trace on the collector there. Gives me the blue trace, the spikes of the induction. The yellow trace goes to the first big coil. It's got nothing connected to it. The bottom wire of the second coil comes around the back of it, but the first coil is only connected to these two plates. And I'm keeping them apart with some uh, paper rolls in the middle. Because that seems to be the best distance that I need there. According to the online calculator, for this size coil, I need 61 picofarad. Now, I couldn't get a 61 picofarad capacitor. So I made these two plates. It's a big, a huge, big coil, uh, a capacitor. But that gives me an almost perfect resonance on the yellow trace, which is this one here. And that is just connected to the two plates. So the first big coil here forms an LC circuit that is not connected into the system. It merely picks up the signal from the second coil. And I'll get to the second coil in a moment, but look at the nice resonance that I'm getting on this first coil. 1.4 megahertz. Uh, with 44 hertz RMA, uh, 44 volts RMS and peak to peak voltage of 151 volts. Now, the collector on my transistor, I had it go going through a cap, but I took that off. So it basically connects with this uh, blue wire to the green line there, which goes around the back, goes in the bottom of the second coil, and the top comes out, and with that blue wire there, goes into my capacitor bank there. I've also got 
a Tesla coil sitting down inside the, the second coil. The first coil is empty. The second coil has got that Tesla coil just sitting inside there, which has got the small wire coming out here. That also goes to the diode bridge and the bottom also goes to the diode bridge. So in other words, the second big coil and the Tesla coil inside helps to charge those two capacitors. In the meantime, my lights not very bright I would say about 50% I run it off the negative of the two uh, big capacitors there only of the negatives but it doesn't really worry because it runs the same of the positive or the negative and the other side of the lights I've got connected to my ground, to my outside ground. And they are jumping a bit at the moment, I'm not sure. Is it a loose connection somewhere? But yeah, I wanted to show just the first big quail is in almost perfect resonance. Uh, that one has got off. My batteries are a bit flat. I'm using 10.5 volts and 169 milliamps 0 0.169 milliamps power from the power supply This goes to show you can make your own capacitors if you want.